Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. I have a new toy. Look at this little guy. It's so cool. So this is a true SDX. It's a great little tiny HF portable rig. Uh, I'm going to be doing, well, I'm going to do something a little different this time. Uh, instead of working on the project for a week and putting out a single video at the end of the week, I'm going to do multiple short videos as I progress through exploring this little radio. And um, there have been so many videos already done on this radio that I needed some different angle, right? Something new to bring to the table. So this project put together by Manuel and Guido, Guido, hope I pronounced that right. Um, it is offered as a kit, right? Here you can see the uh, web page where you can purchase it as a kit. Uh, but then for about, uh, well, there's the price for an assembled unit. And what they did was they have uh, three or four approved builders that they arranged with. So you purchase it from one of the approved builders, they build the kit for you and then send you the completed unit ready to go on the air. Now that's an interesting approach. And um, I think it's one of the first that I've run across that they do it that way. So my thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of the assembled units from an approved builder. And then we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna look at the build quality and see how good of a job did they do building the kit. Um, uh, I'm also going to uh, do a couple of 3D printing things for this. I've got to make a power cord for it, and I have an idea for, for a simple little shell there to uh, make an Anderson Power Poles connection for it. That'll probably be the next video. I have to do my 3D printing before uh, it gets hot again. We've got a few cool days coming as Hurricane K pushes into the uh, southwest U.S. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a series of shorter videos as I explore this radio and do projects for it for the next uh, few weeks. Now, the good thing is, that means the videos are probably gonna come more frequently, maybe only three or four days between videos. So you're gonna get more videos. Um, they're gonna be shorter and to the point each time. So the subject line will be in the title of the video. If it's something you're not interested in, don't watch it. You know, <laughs> it bugs me when I get a comment from somebody about the uh, topic of a video and why did I have to waste my time watching this? And it's like, well, why did you watch it? It's right there in the subject, you know? So, so um, as I move forward, there'll probably be four or five videos on this. There'll be some stuff in between too, I'm sure. I might do, a, if it, interesting things happen, I might do short little vlog entries uh, as well. So, you know, it's, there's gonna be uh, probably more videos going forward the next couple of months uh, with this format. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, we're gonna culminate this one with a video chat with the designers. I've already been in contact with Manuel and Guido and uh, they, they uh, wanted to talk more about the whole process of uh, finding approved builders and the troubles that they had going down that route. So that should be a really interesting video chat and that'll be down the road after I've had a chance to, to open this up and look at the build quality and all that. So uh, first off, how well was it packed? Now, my, the approved builder that I used was based in China. Uh, it only took about a week and three days total, maybe about 10 days to get here. So that was pretty good. So let's go open the box and let's see how well it was packed. And then that'll be this video. Well, I got a box, but you already know from the title what it is. It's my true SDX all the way from Qinling. That what the Turkish sol soldier said. I wonder if that was even the right thing to say. In mash. Okay, well that answers one question. So yeah, I ordered this one through one of the approved builders. And uh, we're going to look at all that information and take it apart and see what the quality of the build is like. It does come with a power cord. I wondered about that. Oh, it's that tiny, that tiny little... Uh, coaxial connector. Let's see. Come on, wake up. There we go. Uh, 
zero. Outer diameter of this, 3.4 millimeter. I don't know what the pin diameter is. Well packed. Look at that. Yep. Well packed. I'll give him that. He definitely did a good job on packing. I mean, that was going to protect it for sure. Oh, here it is, and it looks nice. Oh, it comes with a... Okay. All right. It's getting better. Yep, I ordered the blue one. And it comes with a BNC. Yeah, okay, SMA to BNC adapter. That's nice. I don't have to use one of my own. Looks like he used hex head. Those, uh, in, not hex head, but the, well, they're hex, in, they're internal hex uh, screws. Yeah, 3D printed case, I think. I can't see layer lines. I think that's 3D printed. Yeah, it is. There's the layer lines. Okay. Looks like 0.2 millimeter layer height. They uh, they did a fine print, too. The encoder feels okay. We're going to take it apart, and we're going to look at how uh, good the build quality is, because that's really really curious about on this video. There's plenty of videos on the True SDX showing it in operation. What I want to do is I want to say and show you the quality of the build from a particular well, one of their approved builders. I'll put all the information up during the talking head part. But what we are going to do is uh, I want to play around with it for a couple of days and, and get a handle on it, and then uh, we're going to take it apart and we're going to look at the build quality and uh, see how well they did. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.